This video will explain how to program option codes with the Solar Cell Remote Controller. We will make a quick summary of which codes can be programmed. Be aware that qualified technicians only are allowed to program codes. Wrong programming can cause failure of the system. There are different ways on how to program. You can do it with SNET, wired remote controllers, and in this case wireless remote controllers. In this video we will explain how to get in the service menu, and how to use it. Firstly we can program product option codes, these codes contains model type, capacity, and other specific information. Every unit has its own product code. Secondly, we have the installation option code, this code depends on the installation condition. With this code you can add for example a drain pump, external temperature sensors or switch off beeping noise. We also have an installation option code too. This option code is an additional option code for fine tuning. You can use it for example fine tuning auto change over. If you need to change an indoor unit address manually, you need to use the address option code. You can change indoor and outdoor unit address for upper level controller. Last option code is the short option code. This code is to change one single bit instead of programming the complete code. Firstly we need to enter the service mode. We need to push and hold some buttons simultaneously to enter. Press the temp and fan button downwards, and press the mode button simultaneously for at least 6 seconds. Make sure you will do this all at the exact same moment. After 6 seconds release the buttons. Then press and hold the wind free and the max button simultaneously for 5 seconds. Two zeros appear in the display. This means you are in the option code menu. The dots in the display are pages. We have 10 pages and each page contains two adjustable segments. In total we have 20 adjustable segments. You can swipe through the pages by pressing the mode button. You can change the left segment by moving the temp button up and down. And you can change the right segment by moving the fan button up and down. On the first page you have to decide in what kind of mode you want to program. Select A if you want to set a address option code. Select D if you want to set in specific bit setting. If you want to set in product option code you need to select 1. And if you want to set an installation option code select 2. You have to go to the next step after setting the option code in the remote controller. The next step is to synchronize the setting with the indoor unit. Simply point the remote controller to the specific indoor unit that you want to program, and press the on-off button for two times. When pressing it once and you hear a double beep, it means that you made a change in option code. If you hear a single beep, it means the option code remains the same. When you press the on-off button for the second time it means you accept the change of option code, and will be programmed in the indoor unit. After this the unit will automatically restart.